One more time, comes in, hands come in, control, strike, strike, knee, grab the hoodie, pull him down. Okay, you're right there? Yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, a common attack on the streets where a fight is about to begin is a typical double shirt grab. All right, let's bring Xavier in and I'll show you a couple ways you can defend it. Okay, so the first situation we're gonna look at is the person comes in for the double grab, not bringing in you close at this stage, just coming in to this sort of situation, maybe a three quarters in, okay? So, as Xavier comes in and he grabs me nice and tight, the good thing about this situation is his hands are tied up, so I know that he's not gonna be doing much with his hands. He could pull his hand back to punch me if he wanted to, but I just gotta be ready for that, okay? So the first thing as he comes in, my fence comes in, comes up, ready to protect in case he does go for that big punch, okay? I could protect myself with a triangular defense, okay? If he's just trying to shake me up, maybe threatening me, what I wanna do first of all is I wanna control the situation. One hand across like this, grabbing his wrist and controlling both arms. From here, I could do what I want to do. So from here, the easiest thing would be to do a palm heel strike. So straight in here, multiple strikes into the palm. From here, I can also use my knee as well to drive in as well there. And if I want to, and if he's, if he's wearing a hoodie as well, a better thing too I can do is just pull him down with his hoodie there to escape out the way. Okay, let's look at that again one more time. Comes in, hands come in, control, strike, strike, knee, grab the hoodie, pull him down. The other type of double grab that you might face is where the opponent brings you right into here, okay? Now, in this situation, he's more likely to grab me and headbutt me. So in preparation for that, as always, I will have my hands up in fence. I wanna make sure that my head is down so I can protect my nose, my cheek, and my eye, okay? So if he does go to headbutt me, he's gonna hit me higher up, which isn't gonna do as much damage, okay? So as I'm here, my head is down, my fence is up, now, this is a situation where it's a very... In this type of situation, it would be more of a life or death situation because what I'm about to show you is very dangerous and you have to be very careful when you do this, especially when you're practicing it with your partner in the class, okay? So from here, I'm gonna place one hand in the back of his head and one hand just here underneath his chin there. And from here, I'm gonna slowly twist him around to break open that hold. Okay, now I can exert as much pressure as I want to. This is not something that you're gonna do with your friends or practice in the schoolyard because you will hurt somebody. It's very easy to damage somebody's spine. So be very careful when you're practicing that with your partners. It, as I said, it's only a very life or death situation. Even if I am doing it in a real situation, I would control it and do it slowly. It doesn't need much strength to make the person release the grip. Okay, so one more time. We'll do it from a different angle this time. So he comes in again, my fence comes in, make sure that my chin is tucked down, hand on the chin, hand on the back of the head, and I twist him, controlling him out there from there. Okay? So, make sure you do practice it, but be very careful, do it very slowly with your partner, and remember, you would only use this one in a life or death situation.